Is your school ready to take the dialogue of feedback one step further? So this research I've got here that I'm going to show you offers a conceptual matrix of feedback. Now that sounds quite complicated, but essentially it bridges the research to classroom practice with the aim of feedback being a driver to improve students. So we know it's not the, um, the quantity of feedback, it's the quality of feedback that matters. However, few schools consider different forms of feedback or at least the influences on how feedback is received. And this is something I've been thinking about for a good three or four years now. Effective feedback should signpost the path forward, feed forward, but it should also consider the journey that has been covered, feed back, and offer a reference point to a current uh, point in time, such as a grade, feed up. And I wonder if you think about these three in your schools teaching and learning policy. So the research recommends that teachers focus their diagnostic assessment incorporating more feed forward elements. So here is the research paper on the screen here. Rather than focusing on task specific feedback, teachers should help students focus in on future improvements. So there's my blog summary. I've got this resource here for you, which is a feedback matrix rather than well done teachers should manage the kind of choices and increase difficulty for students providing prompts crib sheets and increase the challenge each time and this is what feed forward is essentially driving students toward metacognition rather than feedback which is often focused on task specific dialogue so read the blog read the summary of the research and take a closer look at this new resource formative assessment matrix